Hey guys, Ludicrous here with an achievement guide for Minecraft Legends. This one is called Nailbiter. To defeat an opponent with less than 10% of your HQ's health remaining in versus mode. This can be done solo without any other controllers or friends to help boost. All you need to do is fire up a private versus game. This is going to spawn in both orange and blue HQs, but the other team is not going to have anybody on it. There is however hostile pigmen camps which do attack both HQs. After around about 3 or 4 minutes they will start attacking both sides. So what we're going to do first of all is build a tower. An arrow tower in fact just in front of our HQ here. What this is going to do is provide a little bit of a defence from the pigmen attacks when they first start attacking our HQ. I'm then going to mine a little bit of resources here so I'm going to get a little bit of stone and a little bit of wood and then what we're going to do is head over to the orange base on the opposite team while we're over there loitering by the enemy base there's going to be a load of pigmen spawn in and it's going to slowly approach both hqs our hq the blue one does have an arrow tower defending it so it should take a little bit of damage but not get destroyed However, the orange base here has no defences at all, so the pigmen are going to come in and slowly chip away the health. What we're going to do is just hang around until it gets to around 20% health, and at that point we're then going to step in and clear all the pigmen out the way. You'll notice that our HQ has slowed down, it's sat at about 82%, they've actually killed all the pigmen that attacked. So we should be pretty safe and gives us plenty of time. So we're going to just now jump in and clear these guys out. We don't want to kill them completely, just lower the numbers a little bit. So we're just going to step away here and allow them to attack the HQ a little bit more. Just chip away that HP until it's below 10%. So around 9% or less is kind of the perfect number here. There we go. I'm now going to step in again and kill the remaining pigmen. Once they're all dead what we're going to do is then press start and switch team. This is obviously going to switch us over to the orange side. So this HQ that we've just defended actually becomes ours. There is a 10 second respawn timer, but we've killed all the pigmen, so it should be pretty safe for a, a couple of minutes at least. Once we respawn, we're then going to put up some defenses here. So when we wander away to destroy the blue base, that there is some defense and it's not going to get destroyed by the, the next wave of pigmen that come along. So I'm just going to place one arrow tower, which is sufficient. You may want to add another one just, just to be on the safe side. And then what I'm going to do here is build a cobblestone golem shrine. Get a few more resources. So I'm going to get a little bit more stone here and a little bit more wood. And then what I'm going to do is summon in a load of cobblestone golems. And then we've got a little bit of an army to go and destroy the blue base. So summon in as many as you can. And then press X to gather them up. And then we're going to run over to the blue base, which was previously ours. And the tower is still standing. We're going to put the golems on the back side of the tower. And also give the pigmen some room that they can actually come in and do some damage as well. And then we're just going to slowly hammer this base down. I saw that the tower was shooting the golem, so I'm going to take a little bit of damage or distract at least the tower. And then eventually it will fall. And voila, you have the nail biter achievement pop as soon as we get to the title screen. I hope you found the information in this guide somewhat useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.